Hello. It's Brew here. Okay. Still got a couple from you, said I bought maybe four months ago. Um, still drinkable. Got some settlement on the bottom. Uh, it's uh, Muse Brewing. Superior Golden Strong Ale. 8.5% alcohol. 375 mil in here. Um, Muse Brewing. Warming multi sweetness and yeast spiciness makes Superior a perfect evening sipper. Made from malted barley grown in our own farm and 100% Canadian grain base. Some continental hops provide a pleasant, mild bitterness. Hops for brew. Um, this beer is bottle conditioned for a natural soft carbonation and allow to continue to develop. Pour gently into your favorite chalice. Well, I don't have one of those on me right now. Actually, I will. I'll, 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 we'll take you for a little walk and we'll grab, um, we'll grab Alan's glass this time. Um, hey, I think I need to shave or should I just grow it out? So we'll just uh, reach up here, guys, and uh, grab this because I believe this is sort of a chalice. Now let's pour this in. Up. Hey, take you for a walk. I didn't want to leave you. I, I should have read that at the beginning. So, so thanks to Alan, I got... I want to say something like a chalice glass. Is that what it is? I don't know. Let's get into it. Oh, now it's stuck. So, all right. Had it for a while. Uh, don't care. 8.5% alcohol. Don't work tomorrow. Might do a couple reviews just to gently pour it. So is this a chalice glass? I don't know. Now there's going to be settlement on the bottom. So we'll just leave that there. Oh, nice sweetness to smell to that. Smells good. Look at that. I'm glad I sat on this. And I have one more. I believe that one in there is 10%. So I'll sit on that one on a cold day. But it smells good. So cheers, everyone. Uh, brought Alan into this. All right. That's nice. That's very nice. It's very soft. Pillowy. Fruity, like... Like, you know, fruitcakes, almost like that kind of fruitiness. Uh, it's nice. Um, too, it's a little sweet over on the top where you can only sip on. This is a sipper for sure. Multi sweetness with notes of spice and fruit. Yeah, I do get a little bit of like uh, spoocy, a, a spoocy, spoocy. That's not even a word. Pour gently in the favorite chalice and leave the settlement in the bottle. So I did. I, I did it right. Yay. Okay, so this is this is really good for Muse because uh, a lot of Muse has is is a different side of beers that I like, but only so much. They really like bubbly and yeah, just different. And I always try something different, but sometimes trying something different that way, I'm not the best, but I like this. I really do. That's a sipper while I am uh, cooking. So I'm going to tell you this before I leave that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that beauty. So I'm going to tell you this right now. that uh, I'm going to give this a 7, 8 out of 10. Right there with my licorice. I'm going to leave the settlement in here. And I'm not going to drink that. I'll probably feed it to uh, my tomato plant here. That will last till December 15th. And I'm just doing drumsticks again, guys. Because we eat a lot, a lot of chicken. And... It's good for you. Even though it's dark meat, it's good for you. Uh, it is a 7 8. Try something different. Be kind to your neighbors. I'm going to sit back and enjoy this in this sexy glass. Thanks, Alan. Cheers, everyone.